you don't necessarily have to believe the smartest guy in the room or the highest paid guy in the room. You can actually unpack an assumption and go out and test it yourself. I worked at several startups, we had some successes, we had some failures. You really start seeing a pattern in failures and it's usually around people just believing what's between their ears rather than validating what's real out in the marketplace. I'm Brant Cooper and I'm the co-author of The Lean Entrepreneur. There's been this idea of the visionary entrepreneur and it's largely a media myth. A lone entrepreneur sitting in the garage has this beautiful genius idea that's fully formed and crystallized and then just goes and makes it happen. Reality is much different. You can have great ideas, but until you've actually really validated them and tested the market, they're generally not that useful. My name is Patrick Velaskovitz. I'm one of the co-authors of The Lean Entrepreneur. I run the Lean LA meetup group. Brant and I are finishing up the book, so right now, wake up. Unfortunately, I have one of these email inboxes that's exploded every day, We're collaborating with an artist called Fake Grimlock. It looks to be very visual. So walk me through this one. Our lean entrepreneur here is trying to figure out how to navigate these uncertain waters. The lean startup is a methodology by which you discover your business model. So this guy seems overwhelmed. Again, it's sort of that faceless creature, but he's exactly. Bizarre, like Exactly. He's all things all people, and it's a classic entrepreneurial mistake. I've certainly made that mistake. One of the big parts of our book are the case studies. We went around and interviewed people inside tech, outside hey, tech. <laughs> How are you doing? Fine. Good, good. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having us. So tell us what you're working on here. So what we're doing is we've taken a lot of the thoughts and workshop material we have that we done face to face and we put it all in a kit so people can do it on their own. I'm Brant. Hi, Brant. Nice to meet you. We're finishing a book called The Lean Entrepreneur, and we actually profiled Beta Brand in it. Well, there's lots of ways we maintain lean around here. I love it. Oh, one of my favorite ideas was the capron. Uh -huh. It's a cape. It's an apron. <laughs> you want to try it on? Yeah? I'd love to try it on. I'd love to try it on. We come up with a prototype or something we think is interesting. We take a few photos of it. We put it on the site. We ask people what it is. And people start signing up. As a rule of thumb, you could probably get about maybe a quarter people guaranteed to, to order. Buy. Any you know tips, tricks, hacks that you have? The truth is that most stuff doesn't work. Right. So you have to really be prepared to turn through a lot of those. A lot of lead bullets, no silver bullet. I think you know if you treat the book like a startup. But that's what we're doing. We're drinking oh, our own yeah. we're drinking our own clear. Yep. The core of the book is how do you take these ideas around lean startup, customer development, and how do you take them to places other than tech startups? When people build products that actually have value, society actually benefits. If we can help doing that, I think that would be big. That would be gratifying. That would be important.